Hey guys, so I thought I would do something a little bit different today on the channel. I'm going to be trying out Resident Evil 3. This game just released on a demo a couple days ago, and I've been wanting to try this out ever since I played Resident Evil 2, which came out last year. These games are, of course, remakes of the old Resident Evil 2 and 3, which came out back on the old consoles, PS1, GameCube, and I think it also came out on N64. Um, but these are not exactly remakes, they're more like reimaginings. The controls are different, the story is slightly different from what I know of. Um, but I should probably say that I have not read any information about this game whatsoever. I never played the originals, so I'm kind of going in here completely blind. Um, pretty much the only thing I know is that that's Nemesis right there, and he's big and scary, and he wants to kill me. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, I haven't actually played any Resident Evil games in a couple in like a couple months, so I might be a little bit rusty here. So I guess I just go to story up here and let's get this thing started. But hopefully if you guys like this then um, let me know in the comments and I'll maybe even consider doing a full walkthrough once it releases next month. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to save it. Alright, well, better get this done right then the first time. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Sounds good. Well, that's not fair. I get the pea shooter and he gets the big machine gun. Oh, uh, this is not going to work. So something you should always do in this game is make sure you pick up all these notes and read them because they might have information about hidden stuff, um, some clues about how to get past a certain area. So you don't want to miss anything. And of course, always pick up ammo. Because you're going to need it. Let me just make sure I didn't leave anything back in here. Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I yeah, it looks miss. clear. Guess let's head up here. Oh, and in case nobody knows, it comes out on April 3rd. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're gonna let me forget it. <laughs> Shift to run. Let's check in all these corners. Tabloid front page. Okay, I think that's about the first game right there. But I'm not gonna read it right now. Yet? 
Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Reactivate power at the substation. All right. Okay, gunpowder. Combine those and I can make extra bullets. There's my health. It's been so long since I played Resident Evil 2. Just trying to remember the controls here. Oh, that looks fancy. So right away, I'm just blown away by how good this game looks. Just amazing graphics. This is pretty much the pinnacle of gaming right now. More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Oh, he's dead. Sorry, partner. Okay, so I gotta find this thing. I already forgot what I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, I gotta restore power to the um, the train. Guess we go this way. Down the creepy alley. Still coming. It's gonna take multiple shots to take these things down most of the time. They're not dead, they're just stunned. So I'll go ahead and say I'm probably gonna miss a lot of items. Um, just because um, <laughs> I'm just kind of rushing through this right now. I want to figure out what I'm supposed to do. You can't always take your time. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, so that's the way I need to go. I have to bust this thing open, I think. Can't really use a knife, it doesn't look like. Probably gonna need some kind of wrench or something. Yeah, knife doesn't work. Alright, so let's just go see what we can find. Oh god. I'm not gonna waste my ammo on those things right now. So as you can see, there's a lot of zombies. Whoa. Oh, gotta be careful. Okay, which way do I go? Let's go down the dark, creepy way. safe here. I'm probably not going to be able to get through there. More gunpowder.
Really just trying to practice my aim. But it looks like there's going to be plenty of ammo, so I can probably just shoot zombies. Not have much issue. I'm not sure what difficulty this is. I think it's standard. But I believe the higher the difficulty, the more, the more health the zombies will have. And probably the less ammo there is as well. Oh! Jeez, didn't even see that guy. There's got to be something in here. More ammo. Okay, so red herbs you combine with the green herbs and it gives you, uh, like, really powerful health, I believe. So let's definitely do that. He's a twitcher. Guess we go this way. More ammo. Wow. Oh, I want that gunpowder. I'm afraid if I grab it, though, these things are going to pop up and attack me. Oh. I guess not. Okay, so this is a safe room. Cutters. Okay, I'm gonna need these later for sure, so let's just go ahead and, um, well, let's combine some of this stuff so we can save some space. I've got a ton of ammunition, wow. I believe I can actually combine these on top of each other. Yeah. Okay, that'll help me a lot. Okay, let's check here on the map and see where I need to go next. So basically how this works is the, um, here's where I am now. There's like a safe room. But these areas that are marked in red, these are the areas where I may have been through them already, but I haven't gotten everything in that area. So there's something that still needs to be picked up. I think that's how it works. I'm gonna turn off that music. Whoa! Let's not go that way. There's another room up here I believe I missed. Oh! God! He was just waiting for me there. Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I can't remember if I've been through here yet. Oh, jeez, man. That was close. Sleeping on the job. Okay, he's not dead. Just gotta keep an eye on this guy. Fire hose. Okay, so this must be what goes to the fire hydrant out there. We'll head back in a second. Oh. I believe I see a shotgun. Let's see if we can get this. M3 shotgun. It's just a pump, but it looks pretty. Uh oh. Somebody behind that door. Oh man, this thing's gonna be big. Whoa! 
Jeez. Need to find some more shoddy ammo. This must be the subway company's offices. Oh, can I get one of these donuts? Ah, oh, man. Huh. Nothing. So the way the last demo worked for Resident Evil 2 was it was the beginning of the game, but this seems to be like it's picked up like a little bit after the intro. Oh, we got another one. Gotta lead your shots. There we go. Okay, let's go this way. Could head back up here. Nope. Oh, every way is blocked off. I think that guy's had enough now. Let's take a look at the map again. There's still something here that I need to get. Not sure what. Oh, there's something back in the pharmacy, too. Uh, I don't know. Something. Alright, let's go see what's in the pharmacy. Must be... Oh, there it is. High-grade gunpowder. I believe this you combine with regular gunpowder and it makes a different kind of ammunition or something. I'm not totally sure. I can't remember. We can't carry it, so I'm just going to come back here later and pick it up if I need it. Now that's a kill shot. It looks like you can do something with these. Ah, oh, great. I'm pinned in. <laughs> nice judge of distance there, buddy. Let's go. Jeez, man. More ammo. Wow. Hand grenade. Got to take this. All right, let's just go ahead and heal ourselves. Might as well. That'll free up some space. Hmm. Dude, kind of want these shells. Um, let's just go store some of this back in the donut shop, and then I'll come back here and get the shoddy shells. Oh. Yeah, we don't need to kill that guy. We'll let him live. Shotgun seems to be like a one-hit kill, which is nice. Must be able to break these. Yeah, you can break those. Pretty sure. Try it with the knife. Oh, you can. Nice. Nice. 
Just gotta remember where this stuff is. We can always come back and get it. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll head back in here just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. I think I forgot to go one way up here. Die, 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 die. I think I got her. Okay, so is that the wind or is there a zombie behind there? Doesn't look like I can go through. I want to go through here. Well, I suppose we could try to go back and get to the um, the fire hydrant now. Not sure what else to do. But first, let's go back to the storage container. I'm running out of space. Okay, let's store. Store the shotgun and the grenade. I got a feeling I'm going to find a lot of stuff, so... Don't really need it right now. So I haven't been over to this area yet. It's a bunch of places. Maybe I have, I can't remember. Oh my god, oh my god. Get up! Oh crap, oh crap. Oh my god, he's right behind me. Run, run, run! Oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get to the donut shop. We gotta get there, we gotta get that grenade. Whoa! Oh man, I'm hurt bad. Oh man, jeez. Okay, let's get this grenade. I don't think we can kill this guy, but we can maybe knock him down. I think he's inside. I don't believe he can come in this room here. And I can't save it. Oh crap. Now I wish I would have got that shot of ammo. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. That's my last bit of health, so... No more mistakes. Go for it. Oh crap. Whoa.
Alright, forget this. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna scream if this doesn't work. Oh my god. I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> this is too scary, man. Oh, I was supposed to kill those dolls. Or shoot those dolls. Whoops. Oh man. That had my heart beating so bad. That is scarier than anything in Daisy. I'll go ahead and say that. Oh my lord. Well, the good news is I made it my first try, so I was playing on standard, it looks like. I don't know if I want to play this anymore. Oh, God. Well, thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys say in the comments, if I should continue this or not. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of... Man, it's an amazing game. The controls, it, the graphics, everything is just top level. But it's, it's going to be rough. <laughs> I might have to try it on standard. I could maybe go hardcore. There seems to be a lot of ammo. So uh, it might be a little bit too easy on standard, now that I think about it. But yeah, just let me know if you want me to continue this series, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.